Putin's personal humiliation. Atlantic Council pointed out the weakness of Russia regarding Crimea. There is a full-scale war in Ukraine, and from the first months of the confrontation, the Ukrainian side attacked Russian troops in temporarily Russian-occupied Crimea with all available types of weapons, including those provided by the country's Western allies. Western-supplied missiles played a central role in the battle for the peninsula, allowing Kiev to methodically deplete Russia's air defenses and sink warships, the Atlantic Council writes. The most striking attack occurred in September 2023, when Ukraine, with the help of Western cruise missiles, bombed and partially destroyed the headquarters of the Russian Black Sea Fleet in Sevastopol. If, for Putin, Kherson was a shame, then it was a very personal humiliation. The material notes. According to the publication, the important thing is that this did not lead to World War III but the dictator withdrew most of the remaining warships from the Crimean coast to relatively safe Russian ports. The apparent inconsistency of the Kremlin's public position on attacks on Russian territory has a number of practical implications for the future conduct of the war. It highlights the flexibility of Russia's red lines and reinforces the perception that Moscow is primarily seeking to exploit the West's own fear of escalation rather than establish any real boundaries, the article emphasizes. Last week, it became known that Ukraine's main allies allowed Kiev to strike some territories of the Russian Federation. After this, Vladimir Putin hinted in Tashkent that Russia might launch retaliatory strikes on European territories and threatened a global conflict. Previously, the Russian authorities have repeatedly threatened the West with a nuclear strike in the event of an encroachment on Russian lands. According to the advisor to the head of the Office of the President of Ukraine, Mikhail Podolyak, in fact, there are no red lines. The Russian authorities quickly realized that Western partners like theoretical constructions and continue to fence them in one after another, they constantly inflated those fears that, in principle, were absolutely propaganda. Macron annoys Biden on Ukraine issue. White House sees French president as a joker in card game. French President Emmanuel Macron, during a recent telephone conversation with American leader Joe Biden, proposed sending Western forces to Ukraine to train troops in the war zone. According to Politico, the US president did not support Macron's proposal. He expressed concern about the potential consequences of sending troops from any NATO country to places where they could be in the line of fire and escalate the conflict, according to two people familiar with the conversation. It is noted that the conversation ended without any solution. As the publication points out, Biden and Macron do not agree on several important issues. The French president has planned for himself the role of a supporter of European self-sufficiency and self-determination. At the same time, the White House sees him as something of a joker in the cards, making the Biden administration nervous. Despite all the differences and 35-year age difference, the two men began to trust each other. Recently, the commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Alexander Sirsky, announced that he had signed documents that would allow the first French instructors to soon visit training centers in Ukraine and become familiar with their infrastructure and personnel. Analysts say France's troop deployment could set a precedent and make it easier for other countries to follow suit. They named five options for deploying NATO troops in Ukraine. Reuters wrote that France could soon send military trainers to Ukraine, despite concerns from allies and criticism from the Russian Federation. Russia continues to throw out threats against Western countries. The other day, the press secretary of the Russian embassy in France, Alexander Makogonov, threatened to hit French instructors if they were sent to Ukraine. 